Okay, now I want to show you a technique that I, again I use quite a lot in my images, and that's where I add a light source. Now in this picture here, you can see that uh, our model here, Steve, has got this rim light around him. And one of the things I like to do is always add in, um, add in the light source so that when the viewer is looking at the picture, they can kind of see, well, why that light is there? Why is that rim light on him? He's going, ah, oh, yeah, yeah, I can see now because there's a light in the top right-hand corner or the top left-hand corner. So I want to show you how I do that. First of all, though, let me just show you how I used to do it up until fairly recently. And it's very, very simple. All I would do is add a blank layer and I'd get a brush and I'd add a few dabs in white, like so. I'd zoom out. Then I'd go to Edit, Free Transform, and I'd increase the size of that white dab that I'd put down. And then I'd just move it into position like so. Okay, let's just zoom in a bit now. And then I would just reduce the opacity if it was too bright, so I'd bring it down to what I wanted. Now that tends to work quite well, but when we look at it, it's actually gone gray. Okay, I've reduced the opacity, so because I didn't want the light so strong. But by doing that, it's actually gone gray. Now, in my house, I've got these dimmer switches on my lights. Now, when I use them, the lights don't go gray. They just don't appear so bright. So how can we do this in Photoshop so that we get that same thing where the light isn't so bright, but it's still a white color? Okay, dead, dead simple. All we're going to do, let's put the opacity back to 100%. All we're going to do is change the blend mode of that dab of white that we've added on here to Linear Dodge Add. And then instead of using the opacity, we're going to use the fill to reduce it down. So now it's not so bright, but it's still got that white colouring in it. And even better, the texture beneath is showing through, like it would do if you had a light hitting a wall. So it's just a lot more realistic kind of look when we're adding in background lights. And that's the next tip. Let's move on to another one.